Hey everybody, it's Amanda, and today we are going to do a thrift store haul. Okay, I have been waiting to do this for a little while. It's actually not entirely a thrift store haul. This is a thrift and Walmart clearance haul. So I wanted to show you all of the things I've been getting lately and tell you what I've been on the lookout for and all the deals I've been getting because I love to share my deals. It makes me happy. So Rick and I actually did the other day a live video where we talked about like our tips for thrifting like a pro. So I'll make sure I link that up here if you want to check that out. It's long. It's like an hour, but you don't have to listen to the whole thing. Like, I mean, listen to it in your car. Like, it's just fun. We're just fun that way. But I want to show you all the stuff that I got this week because uh, I'm so excited about it. It makes me so happy. So let's just get started with the very first thing that I got. I actually, this is the most recent thing I purchased. It's actually very large. Woo, look at that. It's a B for Beal. What? I love this. I found it. It was like sitting on the floor of the grossest thrift store I think I've been in a really long time. I'm going to be honest with you. They actually had a sign on the cash register that said that they, they do not accept cash with bodily fluids. And underneath it, it said spit or sweat. I was like, why is that a problem that you need to make a sign? Like it kind of creeped me out a little bit, I'm gonna be honest with you. But I still spent $4 on this. I paid with my debit card though. And I sanitized before and after. <laughs> so, anyway, this I think is such a fine, I'm gonna paint it. I was thinking white, Brianna said I should paint it black, weigh in and tell me what you think. But is this not beautiful? This is so perfect, $4, what? You cannot beat this, it makes me so happy. Ah, I think that's my only, no, there was one other thing, one other house kind of thing that I got. This one is not as cute. Okay, just, just follow me on this. This is what it is, it's like this wooden box with little heart cutouts, right? And on this other side, it's got these little blue decal things. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know it's ugly. I know it's ugly. But let me tell you how much it cost. <laughs> it was 10 cents. It was in this bin marked 10 cents. And we pulled up to the thrift store, this particular thrift store. And my husband saw it sitting on this rack outside. And he was like, oh, my uncle made something just like that. We had it when I was a kid and I love it so much. And I, man, I really miss, I wish we could get something like that. And I was like, I don't know, babe. Well, as we were walking in, we saw the sign and it said 10 cents. And he looked at me with his little puppy dog eyes and he was like, it's only 10 cents. And how could I say no to that? I couldn't. So now I have an ugly box, <laughs> but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. So I'm definitely, I, these little hardies gotta go. What can I do with this? You guys help me out here. Help me out. Help a girl out. What can you do to make this something? I don't know. I need your help. But we have it. And it was 10 cents. So, I mean, it didn't stress me out too much. But here it is. That was another house weird. I don't love it like the other thing. But my husband loves it. And he's happy. And that makes me happy. So, on to the next thing. But let me just show you. Actually... I'll show you one of the things is actually on my feet. Yeah, you're gonna look at my feet. Look at my feet, there they are, looking so cute with my little orange toes, right? So I got these flip-flops. That is what I got, and I actually um, got a couple other pairs of shoes. We were talking about shoes on our video and um, buying used shoes, and some people are a little grossed out by it. So, I mean, I don't know where you stand on that. We get shoes all the time, and I'm actually gonna show you, I got several pairs of flip-flops. I'm gonna show these closer. I admit it, I just wanted you to see my toes. I admit it, because they're so cute with a little orange paint. Okay, these are the flip-flops. And they have like this little fabric-y, mesh -y stuff on it and they're full flops. I mean, it's, what else can I say about that? They were $1.99. And here's the thing, a lot of people ask about used shoes and I actually think it just depends on the shoe. It depends on whether or not it's like clean initially, like if it's like a brand new shoe, that's clearly not a brand new shoe. But flip flops are very easy to clean and disinfect. I mean, this you could literally throw in your dishwasher on the sanitized cycle and you know, they're clean right most flip-flops are just like plasticky and you could bleach wipe them 
You know what I'm saying? You could, you could clean a pair of flip flops. It's not stressful to me. Um, other shoes might be different, but I found this like little stash of cute flip flops and I really needed some. I didn't have any sandals that I thought were cute. So I got a few and I'm going to show them to you. So here's another pair that I got, another pair of flip flops. Again, $1.99 for the flippies. Hold on, I'm trying to get them out of my little bag here. Okay, these. Just little cute, white, shiny, easy to clean flippies. I mean, they've been worn, but they're not like terribly dirty. And again, easily bleached, easily made nice. They say loft outlet on them. $1.99, I mean, that's cheaper than Walmart because I just saw Walmart flip flops on clearance for like $3.88. Okay, cheaper than Walmart. Perfectly clean, perfectly nice. I like the shiny. I actually almost wore these today, but I really like the little uh, fabric-y mesh on the other one. So anyway, so, but these are my other pair and I think they're cute. These are for the fancier flip-flop occasions. Fancy flops. All right, so speaking of fancy, I got these. Again, clearly used. I actually, these actually looked nicer when I got them because I got these at the beginning of the week and I've been wearing these nonstop because I don't know if you can see, but they are Clark's. And I had heard, I had heard that Clark's shoes were very comfortable. I had never tried any on, but guess what? People are right. These are so comfortable. <laughs> I've been wearing these babies nonstop. And I actually, I, I, when I, Rick was with me when I was looking at them and just kind of looking at the style of them, I thought, mm, do they look like old lady shoes? No offense, old ladies, I love you, but I'm, I'm only 44 and I'm not ready to hit that old lady, like orthopedic shoe look yet, right? I still want it to be kind of cute, but actually when you put it on, it looks a lot cuter than it looks like this. Trust me, trust me, I'll, I'll take a picture later. But, but anyway, so these were also $1.99 because they had like, I guess the sandals were also included in that. It was such a good deal. Like you can't pass it up. Mm, and they, the navy blue matches everything. I love these. I, I'm like obsessed and I'm on the hunt for Clarks from here on out, just a side note. So these are those. I got one more pair of shoes. I don't know if shoe is the right word, but look at these babies. I got some red cowgirl boots. I saw them from a distance. And I had to go take a peek at them. And I looked inside at the name of the brand because the, the styling of it looked familiar. And it is, these are Rampage Ram Vitas. And I will tell you that for years, I got a pair of Rampage Ram Vitas every single year. I got them on Black Friday. I got them from Belk. And I would get a pair in like a chocolate brown or a cognac, maybe a black pair. Never had a red one but they are my favorite, favorite boots. They're very comfortable, they fit me just nice, and they are in my size. They were in my size, which I think is a miracle straight from heaven. So, I purchased them. I actually wasn't going to, because at this particular uh, Goodwill, they were $8.50 for boots, which I do not normally spend that much money on really anything in a thrift store. $8.50, it better be stinking gold. And I tried them on and I was looking at them and I was like, mm, no. And by the way, these, I don't know if you can tell, these are not even worn. These are completely unused shoes. You wanna talk about a miracle? My size, my favorite style, unused. You can't even complain about that, right? So I was looking at them and thinking about it and I was like, no, I don't wanna spend $8.50. And Rick was like, you put the boots back. And I was like, yeah, it's 850. I really don't wanna spend that much. And he was like, well, how much do you normally pay for them? And I'm like, well, I mean, if I get them on Black Friday, they're 30 bucks. And he's like, can you get a pair for 30 bucks now? And I said, well, you can't even get this style anymore, but any boots that you do get, you probably aren't gonna pay 30 bucks for it. And he was like, I mean, 850 is still better than that. And it fall is gonna be here very soon. And you're gonna be wishing you had them. And I was like, you know what, baby, you're right. And you're a good husband. And I bought them, so. Watch me style in some red cowgirl boots this fall and winter. I'm gonna be looking fabulous. Like I just want y'all to know, fabulous. Okay, that's it for the shoes. So easily cleanable flip flops, brand new boots. Who's gonna complain about that? Not me, not me. Okay, 
we gonna get to the dress portion of our show. I got cute dresses, you guys. Cute, cute dresses. Okay, I'm gonna show you this first one, right? Let me back you up so you can see the whole thing. What? Look at this. Doesn't this give you like I Love Lucy vibes, right? With a navy and white polka dot. Is that not adorable? I love it. Okay, this dress was $5.99. By the way, it's Anne Klein. I don't know if you saw that, but it's like fancy. And um, yeah, I actually wore it last weekend for services and then I washed it and the hem came out. But that's cool because you know what? I can fix the hem, that's not a problem for me. So I still felt like this is a tremendous bargain. It looks super cute on me. I am loving a retro style right now. I don't know about you, but this was so cute. And for five stinking 99, who's gonna say no to that? All right, so dress numero uno, I love it. All right, let me show you dress number two. All right, I'm trying to give you a full length look, but you can't really get it here in the corner. So this is like a floor length with like this kind of v-necky style. And it's just this cloth fabric. It's a little clingy, but not too clingy. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a little like form fitting, but not like so tight. I'm gonna be ashamed of myself in public. But the reason why is because this is actually a motherhood maternity dress. And I actually bought another maternity dress recently <laughs> from a thrift store. Again, this was $5.99, right? And uh, Rick laughed because um, he said, I guess your size is maternity. I was like, thanks, babe. Thank you very much for that. But, um, you know, it just fits me well because, you know, normally a, ma a maternity dress has a little extra room in the front for a tummy. Well, the way that I am shaped, I don't really need extra room in the front. I am pear shaped, so I need extra, I do need extra room, but just in, in the front, you know what I'm saying? So the extra room of a maternity dress works for me just in a different way. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm like perusing the maternity section. <laughs> but this is perfect, perfect because it's roomy and it's made to be roomy, form fitting but not tight. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's just, it's just right. So anyway, I wore this also last week to go have lunch with Brian. It was beautiful. And I just felt really cute in it and I love it. And I'm so happy with it. $5.99. I'm 99, you can't beat it. Look at maternity, y'all. If, you, if you're full figure like me, you know what? I don't care where it came from. If it fits and it looks good, I'm good with it. Okay, last one. I have been on the hunt, for real, for shirts. Like, I need shirts so bad. I don't know what it is. All the shirts that I have in my drawer are things that I have had for like 10 years and they're all getting to where they're like raggedy and I've worn them a million times. And they've got like paint stains on them and I'm like, I really need like some fresh shirts. So we have this deal right now, Rick and I, we usually kind of try to, when we need to replace something in our wardrobe, we make a plan to how to do it to where we don't have to do it all at once. So every time, we're, we're going to thrift stores every, every week right now, which is what you should do if you need to stock up. And um, every time we go, I'm trying to get at least two shirts, right? So, number one, I found this shirt, which you might have seen me in pictures because I have been wearing it obsessively because I love the color. I'm looking for colorful things. It's so hard to find something colorful right now. And I don't know why. It's actually, it's a LuLaRoe, right? Which I've never had any LuLaRoe stuff but I stinking love this one. I like the color of it. I like the fit of it. I love the sleeves. And I got this at Goodwill for like, I think $3.99, something like that. So this was a really great deal and I've been wearing it like crazy and I love it. Super cute, my favorite. Let me show you my other Goodwill shirt. Okay, so this is my other Goodwill shirt. It's got like kind of a hippie vibe with a little paisley and a little like, I don't know. I don't know, the lace, something about it just says very hippie to me. Anyway, it used to have a bow in the front and some ties on the side. I cut all that off. I just cut it off. Again, $3.99 at Goodwill. But this I think is really versatile. It looks cute on um, my shape, a mandatory thing. And it's got to, for my shape, it's gotta be kind of smaller on top but then have more room at the bottom. And this one works in that regard. So, um, but anyway, this is 
I, I just really liked it. I, again, it's kind of got some colors on it. It's not just plain. And that's what I'm looking for. Something that's interesting, but not like too interesting. So anyway, like this one. This is from Dress Barn, by the way. So these next two shirts are my Walmart shirts, okay? These were both Walmart clearance and they're not colorful, but this is, this is what you get at Walmart, okay? They're basics some basic things that you can get. Now, the reason why I bought this one, this is a black shirt, so you can't really see the detail, but there is like some little fluffy sleeve happening right here. So it's just kind of a black t-shirt, but like I said, it has that fluffy sleeve detail that makes it interesting. And this one was only $7. So, and that was on clearance. I think it was like $12 originally. It's the Time and True brand. It's supposed to be fancy. Um, I do have black shirts, but they're so old. They're like kind of grayed out now. So I was like, I do need, you. everybody needs like a plain black shirt, right? That's standard, wear a plain black shirt. So I thought that one had a little interest. $7 was pretty expensive, but it was marked down. It was the right shape and the size. And I actually really, really like the shape of it. I went back, they still had more on clearance and they had it in like a purplish color and a teal color, but they just didn't have my size. And it kind of devastated me because I would have got, I like the shape of it enough that I would have gotten some more colors, but if they don't have my size, but anyway, for the next time. So then this is just, again, a plain gray shirt. Nothing exciting about it except that it's versatile it can go with anything in the fall i can put it under things so this is again a basic and this was only three dollars it was cheaper than goodwill so you can't complain about that a nice basic shirt just to have so i said like my last week haul this has actually probably been a couple of weeks thrift and walmart clearance haul things that i have gotten here and there but the thing is rick and i are going like i said every time he has a day off we're popping in the thrift stores seeing what we can find because there's a few things we need and if we see them we want to pick them up and i think that's the best tip that i can give you if you are shopping thrift stores you know it's like shopping at the discount grocery store you know you go some days you go in there and you don't find anything but some days you go in there and you hit the jackpot and that is why you keep going because you're going for that time that you find all the things that you need. Like I literally need no more summer shoes. I'm great on summer shoes because I found one store that was like a gold mine and then I'm great. So anyway, all right, well, that is my thrift haul. I hope, and my, and Walmart clearance. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what? in the comments, what was your favorite item? What was your favorite deal? I love it so much. And if you wanna see more thrift hauls, it's a lot of fun. All right, you all have a good day. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, by the way, because I am showing my dresses here and there. I've got my summer savings happening where I'm giving you a tip every day or showing you snacks or just kind of sharing with you stuff to save money like this. So um, follow me there at the Beals and, um, and that's that. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye.